Plans for an indoor water park in Niagara Falls have gone down the drain. Yesterday, we learned that project is dead, and the developer is blaming a lack of state grant funding. Tonight, News 4's Luke Moretti has reaction from a state lawmaker. Uh, disappointment, uh, severe disappointment. That's the reaction from State Senator Robert Ort after learning a proposed $20 million indoor water park project in Niagara Falls is off the table. We need to make a decision as a business to 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 move on, and and that's what we've chosen to do. Michael DiCenzo, a developer and operator of hotels and attractions, says the decision was made after state economic development officials turned down his request for a $2 million grant. You're putting the blame squarely on the state on this. Absolutely. But the state is already backing another water park project, the proposed Wonderfalls Resort at the former Rainbow Mall site in downtown Niagara Falls. As for DiCenzo backing out... Certainly the private sector has their, the right to make their own decisions and uh, place the capital, place their capital as they see fit. We're disappointed and hopeful that we can work with him in the future. Not including the $2 million DiCenzo didn't receive, Senator Robert Ort says there was already about $8 million in public incentives on the table for the project. It's certainly disappointing that, you, that, that that project won't happen, um, especially with the amount of, of work that, uh, or, or commitments that had occurred. You have to ask yourself, even with that amount of money, you know, to a developer, we still, even that's not enough. You know, that 50% of the project has to be funded. DiCenzo tells News 4 he's sad and personally disappointed that he couldn't take the project over the finish line. We're extremely grateful and very, very thankful for all those who did step up with, with Senator Ort, with the Tourism Targeting Fund, mm -hmm. with the City of Niagara Falls, with their um, grant donation, with the Niagara County IDA, with their with their uh, enhanced pilot project on the taxes. Ort thinks there needs to be a larger discussion about the process of incentivizing development. Developers. I mean, at some point, you can't just give away the store. There's got to be a balance for the state as well. So even with the incentives, if you're having a hard time getting developers to come to Niagara County, upstate New York, then you have to look at other factors. DiCenzo says the $10 million he planned to invest in the Niagara Falls Water Park project will be invested elsewhere, likely on the Canadian side of the falls, where his company operates other properties. Luke Moretti, News 4.